Okay, fix is made. Uh, if you watched the previous Streets of Rage 4 video, you know there were a few um, errors that I made in a couple skins. This video is just a quick update to showcase that I fixed them. Also, I noticed my uh, my reshade it had what I call duplicates, or rather two two shaders um, on at the same time when it wasn't purposeful. Purposeful. So uh, this here, what you're seeing now, is what my reshade actually looks like. A little less uh, effect heavy. Okay, uh, for the changes I made, uh, I know there was a bug somewhere. Um, who had the bug? I think it was Floyd. So Floyd's default skin or skin one on his left, your right shoulder. He um he had a uh, it was cut. His his shoulder was just cut off. It wasn't shaped properly. As you can see here, it's been repaired. It's uh, the sprites have been fixed. For the Mega Man arms or the uh the the second skin set, as you can see here, that glitch has been removed. There's a glitch where the uh the sprite would spaz out. I think it's um was just an issue with the uh the zip when I unzipped it earlier. Yeah, uh, it caused the bug. But as you can see, the bug is fixed. So yeah, Floyd has been repaired. As you can see there, no more bugs. Um, aside from that, I guess to draw the video out some so it's not like super short, I guess I'll just showcase like all the um the uh the nine main roster characters here. We got Street Sprage One Axel. It's a hand drawn character. My buddy goofs or makes sport of it because you know it's not the highest quality, but I think it has a charm to it, and uh, I respect the person that took the time out to try to draw this. I think it um. You know, it validates, it, it earns respect. And then also Adam Streets of Rage 1, which is, I believe, by the same person. Just another mouse drawing Adam here. Actually, slightly higher in quality. Um, Shading-wise, it looks it looks a lot better to me. I like the face, too. But, um, yeah, it still has its jank. But um, I think there's a serious charm to these, two. Of course, Nora, which is a uh, public release mod I found, which basically just puts one of the uh, NPCs over um, a playable character. And as you can see, it's sexy Nora, so she's not wearing stockings. She's got her uh, dominatrix outfit there. There's Sonic, uh, or Sonic 1, Sonic as I like to call them. The textures have been upscaled times roughly four. They were AI upscaled, um, natural. And uh, this is the end result, just a lot smoother looking. I, of course, realigned the sprites so that they're not jittering and bouncing all over the place where it's idle. But that's the end result. This is a custom character I made from scratch by hand. This is Yamakichi Tifa. I simply just took the uh, the sprites from the 2D fighting game for PC um, or Mugen, the Mugen character Tifa, and I um, I cleaned the sprites up. I upscaled them. I gave them a black trim to uh, so that she properly fits in this uh, this world's art style. And this is the end result, which is Yamakichi Tifa. And then, uh, of course, Yamakichi Cloud. Um, same thing as Tifa. I just ripped the uh, the sprites from the 2D fighting game character, and I uh, transferred them over. I clicked them up. I AI upscaled them times four, and I added a black outline to them to be consistent with the rest of the roster. And that's the end result. Uh, if you guys are wondering why I, nev I never released these two characters, that's because, well, the name says it all. They're Yamakichi characters. Which mean they were originally drawn by another artist. And uh, I said in the previous video, if I, if I find something that's public release and it's hand drawn by someone else, the, I'm not going to. And I don't care if it's uh, me, if it's taken from a different game. If it's if another artist created the sprites for a character and I simply took it and uh, put my own personal modifications on it, I'm not re-releasing it publicly because that's disrespectful. So I'm just going to hammer that home. I'm going to say that every time I, I come across an instance where that needs to be said too. This is the Hulk. This is uh, a character. I think it's a public release Hulk to go over. Um, I believe he went over Max. Streets of Rage 2 Max. And um, I simply AI upscaled it times four. I, of course, realigned the sprites. I did my own personal um, reworking of some of the art to be a little more consistent. And, of course, he has a black outline to um, to fit into the uh, with the rest of the roster. But that's the end result I have on.
a high res Hulk. Uh, next up is Knuckles. Um, this Knuckles has been modified too. All of my Sonic characters have been modified. They're all AI upscaled times four, realigned, and uh, I of course added a black trimming to the characters. But yeah, this is Knuckles. Here's Sonic. This is modern Sonic. Same thing as Knuckles as far as tweaks goes. Tails. Same modifications for Tails too. Blaze the Cat. Same thing modification wise. She's slightly bigger than everyone else though. Hmm. But yeah, yeah, same tweaks. And then uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, which uh, again, same tweaks. Um, AI upscale times four, black outlining, and sprite realignment. So they, they, they don't uh, jitter. My last character to showcase, of course, is Streets of Rage 4 Rule. I um, was disappointed with the original developers. I hate Vanilla Rule, um, specifically the Streets of Rage 3 rule that they gave us when we have a perfectly fine looking streets of rage 4 npc in the base game he's in the bar he's cleaning the glass i feel like me to understand why they didn't just give us this a streets of rage 4 rule instead of three it um angers me to a point of no return but as you can see when i get angry i, I do stuff like this i just you know if you, if you can't if you if no one else would do something right do it yourself so i did it and um, he's a public release also. I released him on the Nexus or NexusMods.com because um, I figured that um, if I'm mad about getting Streets of Rage rule, Streets of Rage 3 rule, I'm sure there's a lot more people who hate that Streets of Rage 3 rule. So I only, um, I publicly released that out of kindness. So then um, just to kind of quell everyone's rage for getting that awful character. Um. If you want to see my Streets of Rage 4 characters in depth, just like every skin or whatever, just watch my previous video. It covers these um, the main roster characters here. That's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to try to keep it, well, not short, but I'm, I'm not going to extend it any longer than this. Everyone out there, um, God bless. Have a beautiful day. Be safe. Goodbye.